you know that funny moment where you're like, dude, I totally have something that I want to say, and everybody in the house is asleep, and I don't have anywhere that I can record without waking somebody up, and you find yourself in your bathroom. Okay, maybe that's never happened to you. It's actually a first for me as well, but I just had a thought that I really wanted to share with you guys, and my new thing is, you know, making a self-recording and putting it on YouTube. So here I am, and here's my thought of the day. I was thinking today about how easily we step into aggressive mode when we are trying to get our point across. How it's almost a social norm to get aggressive when you are in any kind of confrontation or even trying to set up healthy boundaries. And what I present to you today is that you can be assertive without being aggressive, that you can get your point across without being rude or harsh or cussing at somebody or being offensive with your body language. And if you're like, what are you talking about? Like, can you give me an example? Well, here's an example. A um, lot of women, they get upset and they do this thing where they like move their head around and say things like, first of all, you don't da 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 And if you think that I'm going, I ain't da 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 That's really rude. Like your whole body, your eyes, your mouth, your verbiage, your hand gestures are, are kind of saying like, F you, <laughs> but just not using the word. And everything that you're saying isn't being able to be heard because the only thing that they see is you being crazy and <laughs> aggressive and that's kind of kind of hurt your cause. And like with guys, um, sometimes you do the opposite, like you don't bob your head around, but you guys kind of puff up and like invade personal space and use your man voice, like, bleh. like, <laughs> I'm sure there's a better example for that, okay? That's all I got. But that you know what you do, and I know what I used to do. I used to be a head bobber and a, you know, whatever, and different things like that, and I just realized that that is completely non-productive, like, did that in junior high, <laughs> you know, we're adults, it's time to handle situations differently. And one of the ways that you do it is um, watch your body language, watch your facial expressions, watch your tone, watch the words you use, don't talk to somebody like they're stupid and um, listen to what it is that they have to say, even if you don't agree with them. And like with some people, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it's not going to um, be a productive conversation, but just because they're being difficult doesn't mean that you have to be. Even if they're cussing you out or even if they're being rude, it doesn't mean that you have to be rude back. My mom has this fantastic saying. She'd always say, be clean on your end. So I just encourage you to be clean on your end. Evaluate the way that you communicate, regardless of how it is that the other people are talking to you. And make sure that, that you are being clean on your end and know that you can be assertive and you can um, stand up for what's right and you can put up healthy boundaries and things without being aggressive. Like it says in the Word of God, there's a scripture that says a kind word turns away wrath and you know that to be um, slow to speak and quick to listen and it's really going to, I think, help in your communications. So today I encourage you to be assertive and to stand up for what's right and put up healthy boundaries in a healthy way. And um, don't be aggressive. Amen?